There are two approaches to demand. There's the approach of the Netherlands, and then there's the approach of Sweden. I would suggest to Duncan that perhaps Australia might go down the path of Sweden. Let me tell you what Sweden does, as opposed to the, the Netherlands. The Netherlands legalizes prostitution, but it criminalizes trafficked, wim, traffic, traffickers, forced trafficking. Now, I make the link between these two. Sweden, on the other hand, has a multi-pronged approach. It prosecutes the buyers, the pimps, the brothel owners, the traffickers, and protects the board. Not only that, in 1999, Sweden eliminated, uh, eliminated criminal penalties against the board, funded services for women, directed strong penalties against pimps and brothel owners, prosecutes the buyers, as I said, and put in place a public education campaign. What are the results of all of this? There's a marked decline in sex trafficking, and Sweden is a no-go area. It's a country where the traffickers know they can't go. Because Sweden sends out a very clear message. Human beings are not for sale. 